it's 2020 and you're a game developer. You decided, hmm, I'm going to make a character for the egg hunt. You found an inspiration, which is a hentai character. Ugh. But then two years later, someone on Twitter named at Dear Lady Maria and Ruben Sim, they've exposed you. Roblox, are you serious? You're making a Roblox story out of an inappropriate source material called the Monster Girl Encyclopedia. Isn't that weird because it's a game that's made for minors to create and publish games. So basically, this game called Astral Hearts is a game I've never played, but there's 14 people active and it's an orgy game. I guess why there's 14 people. Okay, no more about that. I mean, I just poked fun, but who cares? It's literally a knockoff off of the one from the encyclopedia, and this can get the developers into legal trouble. What's even worse is that it's getting marketed to kids by a Roblox right, and it makes this encyclopedia in the right. I don't they got into, into information, but the developer says it was an inspiration, when in fact he copied it from an 18 plus website. And I've been repeating myself, and by the way, I forgot to mention, but they sexualized the hell out of a Disney character from a movie. So basically, they're both in the wrong. I was, I was saying, I was saying, just kidding, they're both in the wrong. Yes, they totally are. And the encyclopedia and the developers, they sexualized the hell out of it. It started from Disney changing the, from the 1951 movie, not the 2010 movie, the Alice in Wonderland thing. So then some stupid idiot from the encyclopedia sexualized the hell out of it, which is based on the test star cat. And the Disney character from the movie and then so, we, so basically the both are wrong and Disney has nothing to do with it. But I said it's in the right. And by the way, the R sixty three face. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Don't get